Hello Taurus, this is Tara Queen Jamila here to do your four month love forecast. This will be for February, March, April, and May. So welcome to the channel. I hope that you guys enjoy this reading. Make sure that you hit that subscribe button. And if you need a private reading, the link to my website is below. Um, I do also offer other services. Okay, so just you can go to the website if you're looking for spell work, uh, heal, healing, cleanses, um, beauty, fertility, love, money. You can come to me for that, okay? All right, I'm going to be using the Cosmic Tarot deck for your reading. And let's get started. I'm going to call to the spirits and spirit guides for the Tauruses. What messages do you have? What are you seeing happening for the single and... Uh, single and involved Taurus, single and married, or single and, you know, whatever. <laughs> We're going to mix you guys together in this reading, okay? Um, what are you seeing for February, March, April, May 2018 happening in Taurus's love life? All righty. Okay, so Tauruses, you got the Three of Pentacles for February. You got the Lovers for March. You got the Seven of Swords for April. And you got the Princess of Cups for May. So right now, I feel as though a lot of you, especially you single Tauruses, you're more so worried about money. You're working. Um, I see you working right now, single and in relationships, okay? feel like if you are in a relationship right now, things are going really, really good at the current because, um, you know, I feel like you're working together right now. I feel like you're sort of building, you're trying to build something, but something's going to happen in March. In March, I do see another lover coming back in. Now, for those of you that are in relationships, I do feel as though you're going to go through some kind of cycle, some kind of phase in the month of April in your relationship because of there's going to be some kind of lack of trust. So I feel like that's why the Seven of Swords comes up. I feel like somebody's going to be, you know, I feel like it, it's a lot of, for a lot of you Tauruses in April, uh, you're going to be dealing with lack of trust in your relationship. You're going to be dealing with, you know, accusations, uh, maybe arguments, bickering, fighting, just negative energy. You know, people lying on you, people talking about you, something's going on. But then in May, the Princess of Cups comes up. So I feel as though this is where your relationship with your lover, I feel like lovers, I feel like Princess of Cups is coming to work the situation out for you. OK, so, I, you know, I will tell you that. And I feel like everybody's relationship goes through changes. I can definitely see that, you know, um, something's going to happen here. Now, this could be in the month of March that maybe it's your your lover's brother. It could be your lover's brother, or your lover's sister. It could be their cousin. It could be their mother. It could be their father. Somebody close, I feel, to the family in particular, that you're sort of not really feeling them. You're feeling like they're a little too close and you're possessive. You're possessive as hell, Taurus, okay? So I feel like that's why the Seven of Swords comes up for April because I feel like, you know, in April or, you know, somewhere within, it's. It, I feel like that for that to, you know, um, represent the month of April, I feel like the relationship is going to be tested. Um, I do feel like with the Knight of Cups, I feel like this is where in May, I feel like the energies between the two of you just sort of come back together. And so I do see you reconciling uh, the relationship. Let me clarify April. Spirit, give me some clarity on the Seven of Swords. Okay, yeah, judgment. Judgment. And see, this is something that you guys are pulling in. I feel like whoever this is now, it could also be a scenario to where another karmic lover is coming in. But it still could be somebody in the family because sometimes family members can be really, really close. <laughs> 
And, you know, it's not anything sexual. It's just that they can just be really, really close. And, you know, so, so it could be that scenario. I feel like for judgment to come up, I feel like it is a cycle that you've been either in, in your previous relationships are previously in the relationship. It's like, oh, Lord, here we go again. Oh, goodness, here we go again. We're going through this again. So I feel like judgment comes up, and I feel like judgment is representing uh, some kind of, some. I feel like for some reason, the spirits want me to tell you to not necessarily listen to, it could be negative thoughts. It could be that maybe you are going to judge wrongly. Maybe you're going to judge your lover in a, in a wrong way. Could be that. It could be that maybe you're just, you just, your trust issues are coming out. I feel like a lot of you Tauruses are either with a Gemini, another earth sign or a water sign, more than likely a water sign. I feel like either Cancer, Scorpio or Pisces. Um, also, if you're single, some of you might have, um, feel like if you're single, uh, the opportunity for love is, is going to come up. Uh, the energy will be there for you to attract love in your life. I feel like you're thinking about love in the month of March. Um, I feel like the, the judgment and the seven of swords could be coming up, could be you working through your issues. So, you know, judgment represents past life transgression as well. So maybe you could be working on that. Uh, but I feel like the opportunity for love is going to come up in the month of March for a lot of you Tauruses for Gemini. And then also in the month of, of May, I see a water sign pursuing you if you're single. So if you're looking for new love, definitely either in March or May. I feel like April is going to be sort of a bad month for you because just in general, if I were to look at this as a general read, and I feel like you're possibly going to be dealing with, you know, maybe some kind of karmic uh, thing. Maybe you're reliving something from the past in the month of March. You know, maybe judgment could be coming from, you know, some unsettled business that you have, unsettled differences. Um, I feel like, you know, judgment, you know, yeah, you could have people judging you. Uh, you may, you could have people persecuting you possibly in the month of April. I mean, it, it could be a possibility, but just looking at the love reading, I will ask spirit to give, uh, give advice for the month of April for the Tauruses. See the four of wands feel like it's only meant to make you stronger. It's not because a lot of people just, I feel like for a lot of the earth signs, you guys are just like, Oh, it's completely over. It's destroyed. Like you guys are some of the most write it in stone people that I know. And it's not like it's, it may seem like a difficult time. I do see a difficult month for you in the month of April, just in general, but I feel like it's only going to make you stronger. Okay. So anyway, <laughs> final advice spirits, final advice for the Tauruses on this princess of cups for May. Uh, the tower destiny feel like some kind of destiny I feel like especially for the singles I feel like this is going to be some something that's going to happen that you can't avoid the tower card in a love reading does represent fate or destiny or soulmates or something so some of you I see a lover coming in in the month of May or maybe even some kind of a significant change surrounding this uh, princess of cups it could be already an existing lover that's going to go through some kind of change for the better for the better is what i'm thinking yep for the better good change coming up okay and so yeah so that that actually ends up being positive for you guys okay so anyway thank you so much for watching taurus Again, make sure you hit the subscribe button if you need a private reading. The link to my website is below. I'll see you guys later. Blessed be.